Hey everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe and we are going to do a painting today. Um, I'm going to do a comb swipe on an 8 by 10 canvas. Um, we're doing the comb swipe because you guys missed the prior comb swipe I did a couple of weeks ago where I used the comb. It was the week where I was doing things I'd never done before and because the video corrupted you guys didn't get to see it so we're gonna try that again the colors we are using are all artist loft flow acrylics mixed with flow troll and water um, I don't have a lot of black left so I'm just gonna throw it on here and um, we have silver gold black white and neon green those are all colors you can buy and then the purple and the light blue are colors I just mixed using their regular blue their, and their white. And then the purple is mixed with their regular blue and the red. There's gonna be a ton of paint on this canvas, but I'm okay with that. Gives us more opportunity for really cool designs, different places where we can go with it, and then amazing skin. So um, we just have a canvas that hasn't been unwrapped yet. I use them for drawing stations just to keep the tables as clean as possible um, as well as specifically for skins because they get really shiny on the side that's down and so that can be a pretty cool um, <clears throat> print like on that side like it kind of blurs a little bit it's really cool and then it's like super crazy shiny so I'm just gonna help this all to the edge here once we swipe it it will I'll definitely have to run a bunch of it off but just to kind of help it along yeah there's a ton All right, we're gonna start with that and then we'll go from there. We're just messy again today. I don't, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I'm gonna swipe it from the top to the bottom and this will take a couple of this just because it's not eight inches. Oops. Might have gone too deep there. It's okay. Just drag that. It'll have to um get pushed up with this one. Lighter strokes. Makes it look amazing. So this little section here, I'm gonna go ahead and go up. <laughs> I'm gonna do this side again. See if I get something better that I like. There's just a lot of light blue here, so I'm trying to cut that up. Let's go ahead and tilt it. <clears throat> I think I'm just gonna work off of this side of the painting because there's a ton of paint on it. So yeah, I'm just gonna run this side over and see what we can maintain here. Yeah, that looks crazy cool. Run it back. Probably should have um, contained myself a little bit more <laughs> how much paint I was putting on the actual canvas. Um, <laughs> like this area a lot. So I think we're going to tilt it this way. Trying to keep it to where you guys can always see it. The reason I'm so picky about making sure that I run enough paint off the canvas is because I just know the ramifications if I don't and that is that it kind of like splits up and it's actually looking really cool it like splits when it's drying so it's not not cool um, I haven't fixed any of those paintings yet 
so I'm not sure how well my, my method of fixing it's going to work at this point. Um, but I'm hopeful, but I would rather just prevent it from the beginning. So I'm going to uh, torch this, make sure there's no chunks or anything, move it to the safe drying area, and then we'll come in for the close-up. But we'll be right back. All right, we are back for the close-up. Um, I love this. I feel like I say that on a lot of paintings. I either really like them or I really don't know. <laughs> but this one, there's just so many areas here. So there's this upper left-hand corner. And this just kind of looks like a really colorful, like, geode or something. Like, all those lines in there and then all the different color variations. From, like, purple to, like, a yellowy tone, which is probably the gold, to the blue, to the green, which is probably the blue and the gold mixing. Back to, like, a yellow and... Oh, just so beautiful. And then in this section here, a little bit of the same in this little section. But then like all of these like lacing with the blues and the silvers. And the blue and silver really kind of blended together to make this really pretty like metallic blue actually. Like when I was cleaning my hands off, it was like really pretty. I'm like, I didn't put any like color shifter anything in there. And that's kind of what it reminded me of. <clears throat> and then we have this section with the black and white lines with all these different little cells in them. So like little yellow or probably the neon green. Yeah, they look more neon green in real life than what they're coming through on the camera. To like gold cells, to like pinks and purple cells. And it's really cool. Like that little section right there is really awesome. And then this section with the purple and the blue is kind of fading in and out of each other. And then the upper right hand corner with some more little cells. So those two corners kind of look really similar to each other even though they're on opposite sides of the painting. So we will zoom out for our final shot. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share and do what makes you happy.